R2D2, R2D2, C3PO, C3PO, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Han Solo, Han Solo. Hi, I'm Mike Jackson and uh, welcome to You Can Play Ukulele for Absolute Beginners. Lesson two. We've got one red spot and today we're going to learn about two yellow spots. There's red and yellow and the red spot is a C chord, the yellow spot's an F chord. We'll do some revision first because it's good to do revision. So Natalia, you're doing very well. We'll, we'll do one red spot to start off with and a, a very famous song from Australia called Kookaburra Sits in the Old Gum Tree and I'll spare you singing it this time. <laughs> so here we go. One, two, three, four. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Kookaburra hop, your tail must be. So that's the one red spot. Let's have a bash at two yellow spots now. That's with your pointer finger and your second finger. You're doing well. Well done. And when you're pressing on the strings, remember you don't have to push the strings through the fretboard. You just gently touch the strings down onto the metal bit, the fret. And once it's got a clear note, then you're touching it hard enough. You don't have to push really hard, so nice and gently. And oh, do check your thumb is on the thumb dot at the back of the instrument. Very, very important to have your thumb on that little dot there and pointing upwards, as they say. So two yellow spots, one, two, and strumming across all the strings. One, two, three, four. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques. spot again and do our little row 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 your boat again here we go one two three four row 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 your boat gently down the stream but but splutter splutter out of gasoline you can have a lot of fun with songs on the ukulele and uh, i have a particular joy of playing mixed up songs like that there's a minor fib about ukuleles that says they will not play in tune a good ukulele will play in tune. If you're going to buy yourself a ukulele, make sure you don't go to a toy shop to buy it. That's number one. You will not get a good ukulele from a toy shop any more than you get a good car from a toy shop. Um, you'll get a toy ukulele. Um, the next thing um, is um, it will need tuning um, regularly. I just tuned this little fellow. And in fact, what I might do is, is briefly to Natalia's instrument as well. These two instruments are both very fine beginner level ukuleles. You don't have to spend a fortune to buy a ukulele, but as I say, do make sure you buy a working ukulele, not a toy. Uh, there are an awful lot of ukuleles out there that don't work properly, so make sure you get a good ukulele. This one, just tiny, tiny little adjustments and it's back in tune again. There we go. And this, children, close your ears. This is a wedgie. It's a wedgie 3.1. It's a rubber pick and it's really, really good for strumming ukuleles because it doesn't damage the ukulele. You can get a felt pick, but never, ever, ever, ever strum your ukulele with a plastic guitar pick because it will tear the instrument to shreds. So, but now we're gonna get ready for the next lesson. The next lesson, we're actually gonna do two yellow spots then one red spot. So it starts on two yellow spots and then goes to one red spot. So between now and the next time you look at the video, you can practice going yellow, red, yellow, red. You don't even have to strum while you're doing it. You just get used to the fingers going between the two without thinking about it. And don't move your fingers too far away. If you lift your fingers right off like that, they've got to go wacko the chook down there again and it takes a lot of time getting there. So 
Just lift your fingers a little way off and then back on again. Oh, won't you play me a ukulele tune? The kind that's easy on the ears and makes you want to croon. Hi, I'm Mike Jackson, this is Natalia, and we're on to lesson three. We've already got a red dot and we've got two yellow dots.